All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the permalinks or the permalink structure for your WordPress blog. Now, permalinks are very, very important because they help you get a higher search engine ranking and make your site more SEO optimized. And therefore, you can also end up getting more free traffic from search engines, especially search engines like Google. So the first thing you need to do is log into your WordPress dashboard and under settings you should see a link for permalinks. Now this is the default permalink uh, right here. As you can see the default permalink and as you can see the default permalink really doesn't give much information on the post itself. The default permalink is simply the question mark P equals and the post number actually. So what you really want to do here is have the post title itself in the URL here so that the search engines will be able to tell that your site is more relevant to a particular content or to a particular keyword that the user is typing into the search engines. Now, to make it more meaningful, WordPress already gives you some suggestions here. So if you choose the day and name, then you will see here that first of all, you would display the year, for example, 2010, and then the number month. So this is just a number, so it's August, it would be 08, and then the day, and then finally, the post. Now, what happens in search engines is that they would limit the amount of text that they actually read from your permalinks. So all this text here is pretty redundant. And honestly speaking, a lot of new blogs here today, a lot of new blogs today don't really use this kind of structure anymore. Instead, they just use post name. So all that appears in your permalink is the post title itself. Okay? So I have a selected custom structure now as post name, and I'm going to click on Save Changes. So for me, it says Permalink Structure Updated. However, you're, if your blog is really, really new, then you'll probably get a message, an error message that says something like, could not edit your HT access file. Please check your permissions and so on. It'll say something like that. And you'll probably also see some code here that WordPress suggests that you use into your HT access file. But it's actually a much, much easier way to do it. Just log into your FTP account and put in your host name, your username, and your password here. Make sure you connect to your web hosting account and then go into the public underscore HTML or www. It's basically the same thing. And then what you need to do is look for the .htaccess file. Okay, so to change permissions for this .htaccess file, you just need to right click and then click on File Permissions. No matter what permission it is initially, you should change it to 777. So go ahead and change it to 777. Again, it may vary depending on your actual web hosting account. You could also actually try uh, 755. And if that doesn't work, then you can just put in 777. And of course, instead of typing in it manually, you can also just select or unselect the options here. And you'll see that the changes happen then accordingly. So I'm going to put this in as 777, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, again, for this particular blog that I'm showing you, I've already added the permalinks earlier. So in your case, you can just come back here and make sure you do that step again. And then just go ahead and enter a post name and then click on Save Changes. Now let's look at the individual blog post itself. So let's take this blog called Low Carb Cooking and as you can see here the new permalinks or the new permalink structure. All right. Instead of having P equals and then the post ID, now you actually have the blog title itself in your permalink structure. So this would help search engines rank your content much, much better.
Because now, not only does your title say low-carb cooking, but your permalink also says low-carb cooking. So if somebody's typing in low-carb cooking in Google, then Google would be able to say that your website is much more relevant simply because your post title is relevant to the search query and your permalink is relevant to your search query. So that's how easy it is, really, to start using more search engine-friendly permalinks with your WordPress blog.